Hello everyone, uh, my name is Anant and uh, I'm making this video to talk about some of our uh, um, investments that uh, the Office team within Microsoft is making with respect to Office application compatibility. So in this particular video, uh, I'm going to specifically talk about add an uh, office app compat now what i mean by that is uh, uh you know we take pride in the fact that uh, office can be extended and can be customized to each organization's uh, needs and one of the ways that uh, we use uh, one of the ways we achieve this uh, we give this flexibility to our uh, enterprise customers is the ability to uh, use add-ins and develop add-ins and extend office in uh, in a particular way so uh, this uh, video we talk about um, uh, you know these add-ins and how they will uh, continue to work in ProPlus because uh, that's one of the concerns that uh, we have heard uh, is that uh, many of our customers are still in uh, previous versions of Office and uh, one of the things uh, which is kind of uh, preventing them from uh, going to the latest version of Office which is ProPlus uh, is uh, you know whether their add-ins will continue to work or not. Uh, so in this video we'll talk about uh, what are the some of the tools that we are working towards to address this concern so that uh, enterprise customers are uh, are uh, are sure that their add-ins will continue to work seamlessly as they move to ProPlus. So with that, uh, I want to just uh, reiterate the goal. So yeah, that's the uh, I just what I spoke about, which is we want to help organizations move to ProPlus, and uh, we do that uh, by evaluating uh, their current set of add-ins and uh, making an evaluation on whether these will uh, work in ProPlus or not, whether they're ready for ProPlus or not. So that's our goal, and uh, I want to just talk quickly about how we try to uh, you know create this uh, ProPlus readiness information available to our customers. So uh, this tool that I'm going to demo, by the way, this tool is not released publicly yet. It is available to a select set of customers uh, as a part of a limited pilot program. Uh, you can, uh, if, if you, you know, if you want to make use of this tool and if you are uh, willing to give feedback to us, uh, share data, please uh, uh, let us know. I'll uh, send you some information on how to sign up for this pilot program. Um, so this uh, particular tool, uh, this uh, tool that I'm going to ta talk about in a little bit, it's uh, based on Office Telemetry dashboard. Uh, I hope you are familiar with this. Uh, if not, I'll give you some uh, details uh, in the in the in the uh, in the description about what this tool is. So, Office Telemetry Dashboard is an on-premise tool uh, that we had made available to our customers, uh, and uh, uh, this tool helps to uh, uh, understand. Uh, let's the IT admin actually understand how uh, our, our Office is being used within the organization. So, this uh, collects and uh, shows uh, reports. Uh, based on data about how, uh, what are the different kind of uh, uh, add-ins that the users are using, what are the different kind of uh, macros, and what are the different kind of documents that people use, and so this uh, helps to provide IT admins some interesting views, uh, some interesting data uh, about how the add-ins and how the different solutions are used uh, in Office. So we, uh, this uh, readiness tool that I'm going to talk about is. Uh, closely uh, based on this uh, uh, office telemetry dashboard in the sense that uh, uh, obviously to provide a, a pro plus readiness report uh, we need to identify the set of add-ins that are used in the organization and uh, we use the office telemetry dashboard database to get this uh, uh, the list of add-ins so uh, the office database office telemetry dashboard actually uses a sql db as a, uh, as a database so this uh, pro plus readiness tool that i'm going to talk about uh, will actually need to connect to the sql db so uh, just before i get into the rest of it uh, for you to use this pro plus readiness tool you need to uh, have the details of the sql db handy this includes the server name the database name and obviously you need uh, you need to have access uh, to uh, you need to ac have access to the db itself. So uh, that's about the you know how we try to uh, uh, identify the add-ins. And the next question is, once you identify the add-ins, how do we actually evaluate? How do you know whether the, an add-in is pro plus ready or not? And uh, so I want to talk a little bit about that, about how this magic happens. So this uh, is uh, based on the global telemetry that we collect as a part of the customer experience improvement program. So this is a program which uh, 
uh, uh, like you know any user like uh, of office both consumer and enterprise can opt in uh, to send some of the uh, usage data back to Microsoft so that we can make office better and uh, this data helps us to uh, understand how users are using office and specifically about what you know how they use add-ins what kind of what are the time kind of add-ins they run and uh, whether those add-ins are running successfully so uh, already we have millions and millions of customers using Proplus and and uh, based on this telemetry, we know how many of these customers are running add-ins and uh, which add-ins are working well in ProPlus and which are not. So that's how we build a global database of uh, uh, add-in readiness. We uh, because you know because of this data data stream, we know which add-ins work in ProPlus and which don't. So uh, the whole idea is uh, the this tool will actually uh, just uh, marry the inventory data from Office telemetry dashboard and with the source of through the global source of through that Microsoft maintains and it uh, creates interesting um, uh, reports, Pro Plus readiness reports. So uh, so. With that, I want to just quickly go into the demo itself. I want to show you how this uh, tool is actually uh, will be used and uh, hopefully that will give you some more clarity on what you're trying to build. So I'm going to uh, just uh, before I get into the tool, I'll show you quickly how the um, the let me exit the presentation mode. So I'll show you how the telemetry dashboard actually looks like. So this is the telemetry dashboard. This is uh, ships with 2013 and 2016 office. So if you open telemetry dashboard, uh, you can, uh, you know, the one of the first things it will ask you is it will ask you to connect to a DB. And uh, this is a local DB that I've set up. It's a test DB that I've set up. And uh, if I connect to this DB, it will it will tell you all the add-ins that are uh, installed, uh, which are actually, you know, stored in the database. So which corresponds to all the add-ins which are used in my organization. So there is a tab called solutions. So this lists all the add-ins that are currently used in the in my company, right? So so this is Office Telemetry dashboard. And now I close it. I don't need it anymore. Now I open this uh, tool that I you know we we are working working towards. So so it's actually a, a, a XLM. XLSM file, which is the Excel file with macros. So it is uh, no fancy installation uh, required. It is just a a simple Excel file which you can open. So I'm, I just saved this file in my local uh, machine. I'm going to open this, and this is how it's going to look like, right? So the first thing it's going to ask me is select the office bitness. Uh, this corresponds to the the bitness that you're targeting in ProPlus. So if you're trying to go to 32-bit ProPlus, you select this. If you want to try to migrate to 64-bit ProPlus, you would select that. So let's go for 32-bit, and then you have this connect DB. Uh, a dialog uh, the button so this throws up a very similar uh, box that you saw in uh, office telemetry dashboard I'm and I'm going to just put the same details here and uh, this tells the tool that you need to connect to that particular um, office telemetry dashboard SQL DB and uh, obviously it's trying to do this to collect the inventory information uh, in that organization so uh, right now, it's querying all the uh, the solutions which are used, and at the end of the at the end of this processing, it'll actually show you a report which tells you which kind of evaluates uh, each of those add-ins which are used in the organization. So I'll give it a minute uh, for it to load. So we have this uh, report. So this is the overview report. Uh, so this tells you in one glance what's the overall status of the add-ins. So as you can see, it has uh, classified the list of add-ins. The total of 330 add-ins it has identified from the database, and it has uh, classified into three groups. One is uh, adopted, which means uh, we have a. It's a very highly likely that this add-in will work well in ProPlus because we have seen it work in multiple machines uh, based on telemetry, and we have this uh, category called content developer which means that uh, we have potentially identified some issues and it's uh, better that the IT admin I as an IT admin should just check with the ISV who developed the add-in and there's a third category which is called as not enough information so this means that uh, the tool is not able to uh, evaluate that particular add-in and uh, the reasons could be many that it could be that um, um, you know it could be an internal add-in you know which the company which my organization or my IT department has developed uh, so obviously Microsoft would not know would not have data about that uh, or it could be some other uh, uh, reason it could be uh, even that uh, you know because this is very much a, a pilot program uh, we are also uh, you know we, we definitely think that uh, we'll get more coverage so it could be that uh, our uh, data streams are not caught up with that particular add-in so so this is the overview of uh, the overall status so 
uh, like just like Terry said for the previous uh, demo, this itself gives you a very good information about okay, what's my overall uh, Pro Plus readiness? How how ready am I? Uh, so am I like r really uh, there or am I not so um, you know ready? And if I want more details, obviously if you know this gives me a bird's eye view. But if I want more specific uh, insights about specific issues, specific blockers, then I would just go into this uh, readiness report. Um, uh, tab so there you would have a line uh, detailed view of uh, all the add-ins and uh, you would uh, you know you would you could you could do a bunch of things you could do a bunch of filtering let's say you only care about excel add-ins as an organization you think the most business critical add-ins are the excel ones so you just rather look at that and uh, then you would want to say hey you know what i actually want to only look at the excel add-ins which have issues so for which i need to contact the developer and uh, then these are the add-ins that uh, it will it will boil down to now it is just a question of identifying who are these uh, users and uh, who is the developer of the add-in and you can contact the ISV. Uh, and uh, and even the same thing, you can do it for not enough data. There could be a, these add-ins could be, um, you know, potentially internal add-ins or, or it could even be, this is a good opportunity for you to really look at it, uh, whether these add-ins are important or not. Because one good thing about this to report is that it actually juxtaposes the uh, the readiness information with the number of users who are uh, using this add-in. So if uh, an add-in has very low usage count and it has, uh, you know, and you're not sure about it, maybe you, it's a good uh, time to question whether this add-in needs to be, uh, you know, supported within your organization. So uh, it it helps to just, uh, you know, it helps to put all this information in the same place so you can, um, you know, play around with these filters and uh, do what you want. So similarly, you can you can try this for the other uh, types of, uh, uh, you know, applications and you can uh, identify uh, which are the problematic add-ins. So just to take a step back, the idea of uh, this tool is to make it more predictable, the whole uh, the, you know, idea of how to evaluate your ProPlus readiness. And uh, uh, so that's, that's the reason why we wanted to be very crisp in our classification. Like when we say adopted, it's just that, you know, it's, it's, it, it's, it means that Microsoft has seen this ad in has, has worked successfully, uh, reasonably well without any issues in multiple um, uh, users. So it's, it's very, uh, it's a very objective assessment of the add-in. And of course, for those cases where uh, we don't have data or for those cases uh, where we have seen issues, it actually t it helps you to even uh, prioritize whether these needs to be remediated in the first place. And uh, once you make a decision about, uh, you know, based on the prioritization and based on everything else, if you think a particular add-in is business critical, then, uh, you, you know, it is up to the IT admin to, uh, uh, you know, contact the ISV to get it fixed. So uh, you can do the same thing for the 64-bit uh, uh, readiness as well, um, and you can get a similar report. So that's my uh, uh, very uh, quick uh, demo of this tool. With that, uh, I want to just uh, talk about some of the uh, the next steps. So first thing, uh, the reason why uh, I am sharing this uh, so this tool with you, this readiness tool with you, is to uh, get feedback from you. So if you are in the world of ma managing office deployments in an organization uh, and you are worried about Office App Compat, uh, uh, we want to know, we want to hear from you. Let us know in comments uh, whether this tool, uh, the way we are thinking about it, the kind of reports that is going to be available uh, is uh, gonna help you and if you think something is missing uh, do let us know and uh, specifically uh, if there is one or you know like a handful of uh, add-ins which are uh, really critical and which you are like may, are you worried that it'll uh, you, you want to make sure that it works in pro plus uh, do let me know with the name of the add-ins in the comments uh, I can I'll try to uh, get back to you individually if I can uh, and yeah uh, as I mentioned before this tool is available uh, as a, 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 a kind of a preview program, a limited uh, uh, preview program. And this uh, program is open right now. So I will leave the, the, um, the description about the program uh, uh, in, the, in the comments, uh, in, the, in the description, I'm sorry. Um, so uh, if you want to play around with this tool uh, while we are actively developing it, uh, you can uh, go ahead and join this pilot. Uh, yeah, it is covered uh, if your organization, uh, you need an NDA to, uh, uh, to 
play around with this tool because uh, these are we're talking about software which are which are not publicly released so uh, that would be needed and of course um, one of the requirements of uh, running this readiness tool is uh, the office telemetry itself so I will also share some uh, uh, some um, links about uh, how to deploy office telemetry if you have not already done so in your uh, in your organization so with that I've come to the end of this video uh, thank you thank you so much for your time I wish to hear back from you in the comments. Goodbye.